What's up guys? So today we are going to be making a delicious broccoli pesto made from frozen broccoli and then I'm going to show you three ways how to use this pesto that you've hopefully never seen before. So make sure you stick around to the end. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Candice and I'm a licensed health and nutrition counselor and every week here on Eat Your Pork and Vegetables, I make delicious plant-based recipes. So let's get into this broccoli pesto. So we're going to start with four cups of frozen broccoli that I've thawed. You don't have to cook it, just thaw it. Loaded with lots of antioxidants, vitamins A, C and E. Definitely a good immune booster right now. And then we've got a half a cup of sunflower seeds, raw sunflower seeds. As you've seen, maybe I'll link to my other pesto recipe up above, but I like to use sunflower seeds because they're much cheaper. And then we've got nutritional yeast, basil, garlic salt, because um, when I got groceries the last time I did a grocery pickup and they were out of minced garlic. So I'm using what I have. I do have one little garlic clove I'm gonna throw in there, but I've added garlic salt as well. And then we're gonna do a teaspoon of lemon juice and we're about to get a bit noisy here. blend that up and then we're just going to slowly add a bit of olive oil um you don't want to use too much i just like to use just enough so we're just going to turn this on and drizzle a bit in get a nice shot of that see what you can see so there we have our broccoli pesto now let's get into recipe number one with it Hey, if you're getting some value out of this, type the word pesto down below in the comments. So the first recipe we're going to make is a mushroom avocado toast. So we've got one avocado here and we're going to add half a cup of the broccoli pesto to it. And we'll give that a quick mash. And now we'll make the toast. So I'm actually making four toasts. So we're going to smear a quarter of this mixture on each piece of toast. And then we've got some white mushrooms that I just simply sauteed with some salt, pepper, and chives. The second recipe that we're going to make are these baked pesto bean balls. So we've added to the food processor, I have a cup of the pesto, a cup of rice, so cooked rice, this is a mixed wild rice blend that I have, but whatever cooked rice you have on hand. And then half a cup and of black beans. And as always, I will always have either the recipe right down below or there will be a link to the recipe down below. We're gonna add this to our mixture here. So here I have another half a cup of rice and the rest of the cooked, or sorry, the rest of the beans. And two tablespoons of both chia seeds and flax seeds, which again are gonna act as our binder. Um, and we are going to add this mixture in with that. Obviously I've left some of the beans whole, some of the rice whole, because you want that texture. You don't just want a mushy bean ball. And once that's combined, we are just gonna set it in the fridge for a little bit of time, however much time you have. If you have 30 minutes, if you have 20 minutes, just so that those chia seeds can soak up the water and this, this can kind of firm up and then we will make the balls. So you wanna make these into small balls as uniform as possible so that they cook evenly. And once you've got those all rolled, we're going to throw them in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes. So there's the final product. So 20 minutes was perfect. So you can use these in salads or just as a snack or throw them in a wrap with veggies, whatever you like. The third way to use this pesto, you do not want to sneeze because you will miss it. So super simple, delicious fry dip. Um, I've just mixed some, some of the pesto with some vegan mayo. And we're just going to give that a quick whisk, and you have a delicious pesto aioli for your fries. <sighs> well, I don't know about you guys, but it's been a long day, so I'm going to put my feet up, and I'm going to enjoy a ball or two. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to eat your fork and vegetables.